And as we've reported all week, a handful of Tampa Bay Area veterans will be at the memorial ceremonies in Normandy tomorrow and on Friday. That's right. Our own Fox 13's Mark Wilson is there with them as we salute them for all of their courage and everything they sacrificed for our freedom. While D-Day was the deadliest day in the history of our nation's military, with most of those deaths occurring behind me right here on Omaha Beach, it was also a pivotal point in the war, finally turning the tide. So pride and emotion abound, especially for those Tampa Bay Area vets who are here now, eight decades later. They are living history, testaments to the greatest generation, guests of the Florida Elks Association, bringing them from Tampa to Normandy to witness a world saying thanks. Many months in planning, the D-Day assault, codenamed Operation Overlord, was to overwhelm the German fighters with the largest seaborne invasion in U.S. history. First dropping in close to 18,000 paratroopers behind enemy lines, then sending 133,000 troops onto Normandy's beaches, the where the Germans had higher ground. Allied losses were heavy as fighting raged on for three months, with their relentless push finally breaking through, liberating France in August. Gary Mormino is a USF history professor and historian. It's also inspiring. This was, this was not just a battle. This was arguably the most consequential battle in American history. And to 96-year-old Stearns Poor, 97-year-old Manny Maldonado, and 98-year-old Malin Grip, those are more than statistics. They're friends, they're comrades, they're scars that haven't fully healed. I really have uh, led an interesting life and I've shed a lot of tears, uh, but you know, like life, you just put one foot in front of the other. What does that American flag mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. The, the, the flag, uh, it does mean a lot. Malin, who saw heavy fighting in the weeks after D-Day all the way through the Battle of the Bulge, has been invited to speak. I'm proud to be a part of that history. And I wish that many, many more that aren't happy with it look back and say it was one of the greatest things the world had seen. The cause was great. I mean, we're fighting against totalitarianism imperialism. And for Mormino, who's published works on Tampa Bay's, specifically Hillsborough County's role in the war, from heroes like former Congressman Sam Gibbons, who parachuted behind those enemy lines, to the Don Cesar and Vinoy Hotels, both taken over by the Army at the time to treat soldiers and train workers, and Tampa's shipyard producing warships. The collective support on the home front, he says, and gratitude for what these and other veterans did at that time was something to behold. It's a lost world of, of respect and, and duty and a sense of belonging to something greater than yourself. And here's some perspective for you. The youngest soldiers who served would have been 17 in 1944. They're now 97. So less than 1% of the 16 million Americans who served in World War II are even still with us today. And just a fraction of them played a role on D-Day. From Normandy, I'm Mark Wilson, Fox 13 News.